Juraj Slavkowski's recent development is another reason why we shouldn't try to put players in boxes. Just because a player is tall and strong doesn't mean that he lacks hockey sense, or that he was overdrafted because of his tools. Slavkowski was always a pretty smart hockey player, on top of having great tools. We gave his hockey sense an above average projection in his draft year and his passing game a high end one. But like I outlined in the last video, he just didn't play with the right teammates to make his hockey sense shine in the first part of the season. It's very hard to pick up patterns in a game and position well when your line mates are unpredictable. But now that Stavkowski has the right environment and the confidence, you can't really argue that he lacks hockey sense, and I'm going to show you why. For the most part, the clips are not from highlight reels. We're going to focus mostly on Stavkowski's movements away from the puck and how he fits inside the coaching staff's offensive strategy. Here, we see the power forward side of Slavkowski. There is a long battle on the wall, and he's right there in the mix trying to free the puck. But already, there's a pretty good sign that he's not just thinking about the battle. He's trying to know where he could pass if he gets the puck out. He's spotting his options, but it's not a very important point. The battle continues, and the puck does get out eventually. It's passed to the point, and Slavkowski goes to the net. He's pushing and shoving to get a good position. But here's the amazing part. Rolls away from them as he cuts right to the front. It's off his stick and does. Oh makes a save on... Caulfield makes a great cut on the wall here. He escapes his defender and immediately Slavkowski sees two things. First, he's in the way. Caulfield is driving to the net. If Slavkowski stays there, he's going to block Caulfield's lane. And second, there's a two-on-one potential here. If Slavkowski gets to space, he can be an option. So he pulls off a pure scorer move here. He pushes back against the defender, creates separation, and he backtracks into space to give the line to Caulfield and get open for a pass. This play required a mix of physical skills and anticipation, and it's exactly what Martin St. Louis is teaching and how he wants his team to play. Players fill space to make the offense flow and open up plays. Here's another similar clip. Montreal is on the forecheck here. Slavkowski comes in as a kind of F2. He intercepts the puck, looks for options inside his reception, and passes the puck inside space. Then the puck moves high, he attacks the slot for a deflection chance. The puck heads to the wall, so he moves there too. Again, he shoulder checks before getting the puck, which leads to a planned deception. He sees Suzuki coming down the slot, but he looks at the point before passing to him. And then he spots a gap opening inside and he cuts right in. Shortly after, he makes another inside pass. These plays don't lead to a scoring chance, but they could have if Suzuki made his return pass quicker, or if his teammate was right-handed. Slavkowski moves behind the net, and then in front again to deflect this shot. Here, he anticipates the rim and takes an early inside position on this defender to get to it. The puck gets away from him, and there's a bit of confusion here with his pinching defenseman, but Slavkowski continues moving in support. And I like his read here. There's a rim to the corner. Stopping the puck here is killing the offense. That's exactly what the defense wants. One defender will get on his back and the other one on Suzuki's. So instead, Slavkowski lets it slide through. Suzuki can then pick up the puck with speed and attack from another angle inside space. The play finishes with a shot from Gouli and look who's in front of the net again. Here there's a dump in and Slavkowski goes to retrieve it. He scans and scans, hits the defender off the puck and finds Suzuki who tries to reach Caulfield. The puck moves high and Slavkowski answers by going to the net. His simple presence there means that the defense has to regroup around the slot and keep him in mind. That creates just a bit more space for his teammates. He also tries to play between opponents to remain a good option for his teammates below the goal line. He gets a pass and then he transfers the puck to Suzuki at the far post for an amazing scoring chance. That play wasn't luck. He peeked around to see his next option and the space he had with the defense first. It's his awareness, even more than his frame and net front play, that enabled him to make that play. This is a great play that actually leads to a highlight reel goal. He jumps to the net after a face-off, but he doesn't stay in place. He's moving with the play, jumping in and out of the slot to give options to teammates. Three games of January. The last... As Andre makes saves a couple times just outside the crease. Short bangled score! What a shot! Slavkovsky! Slavkowski is also showing more abilities to make plays with the puck now. That's a really beautiful give and go with Suzuki. He has the presence of mind to not dump this puck in, but use the speed of Suzuki behind him. After his pass, he controls his speed and remains inside space to get a good shooting opportunity. Keep it in, Strom's pass. 
tipped by Carlson right to the doorstep and unable to flip the shot was Henry because he tried to spin and shoot all at once. Chipped ahead, Slavkovsky gets around his man, redirected in by Suzuki. At the start of the season, Slavkovsky would have probably tried to one-touch this puck to Suzuki. He would have forced it through the defender to get it off his stick as soon as possible. But he doesn't do that here. He controls the puck, fakes and waits out the defender as he goes down and makes the best play. Slavkovsky now draws the defender, uses the boards, finds Matheson. Slavkovsky right on the doorstep and unable to shovel it home was Caulfield, but it comes across and they score on the... Slavkovsky might not ever think the game at the Nick Suzuki level, but it seems very likely that his hockey sense will become at least above average in the NHL. He already supports plays well and understands how the play is supposed to flow and how to make it flow. He keeps the puck in control of his team, yes with his physical skills, but also with his movement and his ideas. His development will continue to have its ups and downs for sure, but his skill set seems to fit very well on the top line with Suzuki and Caulfield. He seems to be improving fast in that environment, and that is very good news for the team. And shot by Slavkovsky scores! Boy, Slavkovsky with a lot on that shot! So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. You can also check out ePearingSide.com for my full article on Slavkovsky's progress.